Hi everyone, welcome to Puddingwood Avenue. My name is Bindi. So, what are you working on this Wednesday? So this week I've been working on a few different projects, only because it's school holidays and I've actually had some time to do it. Where do we start? Okay, let's start off with the easy things first. So as part of my um, yearly goals, I um, have pledged to make 60 Premi baby, Premi baby beanies for the Miracle Babies Foundation. Um, if you wanna have a look back in my playlist, I've got um, the patterns, where to send them to, all of that really good information. It's such a worthwhile cause to help um, mums and dads um, cope with the stress of Premi babies. And so um, I'm making some little beanies to go with them. Aren't they gorgeous? So I think I've made 16 or 17 so far. I've made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, another eight this week. So I'm well on my way of making my 60 for the year. Um, put a little pom-pom on this one. How cute is that? I, I really enjoy making these. All right, so that's one thing that I've been working on this, this week. The second thing I've been working on this week is I am now <sighs> three quarters of the way through of my shawl. All I've got is this little tiny bit left it's probably half the ball of the universe making my um carry penny carry penny sorry i'm yelling into the microphone um carry penny circular shawl i absolutely love this thing and let me just pull that out the thing i love about these circular shawls is that triangular shawls straight across and literally triangle they tend to fall off your shoulders, whereas this one being circular, tend to, oh, so too hot to have this on today for sure, they tend to sit naturally across and over your shoulders without falling off. So um, this is the one I'm making at the moment. Uh, like I said, I've got that half a ball left of that circular universe yarn, and it's beautiful. I, I'm loving the way it's coming together. So. I should be finished that by next Wednesday. So there's that one. Let me find where I put the, um, here. Oh, lucky I did pull that out as far as I did because I just about pulled that out. All right, I'll check that when I come back. Um, the other thing I've been working on is, now I bought this pattern six months ago maybe, and I've left the pattern behind. Okay, um, I will definitely put in below in the comments, in the description box, where I got this pattern from. And this is really showing my age. Oh my gosh, it's really hot here all of a sudden. Hot flush. Um, <laughs> um, I'm showing my age, oh, there you go. I'm really showing my age. So my, I bought this pattern about six months ago um, when it first came out. My husband is so excited. He's a fan of Cheech and Chong. If you don't know who Cheech and Chong are, depending on how old you are, maybe Google them. Um, they were uh, marijuana smoking Mexicans back in the, did they go back as far as the 70s or the 80s? Definitely the 80s. I don't think, yeah. Um, Chong was actually the, um, uh, in that 70s show recently uh, so even that's not recent I am old everything seems like so Pat came out I happened to share my husband and he said oh my god can you make that for me so it's in one of the Cheech and Chong movies I think it's the up in smoke movie it says it all where Cheech gets dressed up at this as this other character called Alice Bowie and some of you are probably going, oh my God, Alice Bowie. Some of you are going, who? Um, and it's, he's in a ballerina costume and he goes in to this gig and sings a song. And it's just, it's a family, it's a, my husband's a weirdo. He used to do the Henny Penny, the sky is falling down song. But every time he turned a page reading it to my daughter, our daughter, he'd go, dun, 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 dun which is, Alice Bowie singing this song in this 
Teach and Chong movie. Anyhow, I keep putting it off and keep putting it off because I'm not particularly good at amigurumi. I can make all the little bits. I really struggle putting it together. And so the last few things, oh, I've forgotten to bring out something else over too. I'll, I'll do that in a sec. So everything I've made in the last six months, he goes, hmm, yeah, it's good, but it doesn't look like Alice Bowie. So I have started making this character for him. So here he is in his little socks, shoes and socks, and he's, he's going to have a pink tutu on here. Um, he's going to have lots of black curly hair. He's got a black Mickey Mouse with ears cap on. He has a black moustache. He's got nipple tassels that I'm going to have to make. He's got little tiny ears I'm going to have to make. He wears this blue like Zorro mask thing which I'm going to have to make and sew all of these little pieces on. So I'm sorry but Alice Bowie might stay like this for a little bit. <laughs> um, to this point, this has been really easy to do because apart from the arms which are done separately, everything from the shoes all the way up you get to here which I think is row 45 um, and you actually crochet the arms in which was so easy and then yeah I've just got to close off the top of his head and then I've got to do all the fiddly little bits so I did this in the most part of a day because it sort of thunderstormed here totally one day um, and so I just sat and did this so I've been making Alice Bowie um, I'll just put you on pause for a second and I'll go and get the pattern so I can tell you who made it and also the other little Easter bunny thing I've been making for Easter so hold that thought I'll be back in just a second that was fast wasn't it so um, this is the pattern this is the Alice Bowie pattern and this is the character from the Cheech and Chong movie like I said I think it's up in smoke um, and the character's name is Alice Bowie. Now, the pattern is done by Drunts um, at hotmail.com. Um, I think her name is, oh, Deidre, that's right. Um, uh, and I, oh, he has got hair on his chest. I thought he did, looking at the picture. So, oh, so you can have to see. So yeah, I'm gonna have to put some lace, ballet slipper lace uh, um, on his shoes need to make a garter belt, I need to make the um, tutu, I need to make the tassels, oh, I'm going to have to sew his chest hair in, I did think he had chest hair, um, he's got a moustache, he's got a little nose, he's got tiny little ears, all the hair, the mask and then he's got a Mickey Mouse beanie. What have I got myself into? Anywho, this part's been awesome <laughs> um, and it's just the putting it together part that's going to be my struggle. Um, Mr. David is very happy that I've started on his Alice Bowie doll. So I've been working on that. Um, I also made a, oh, I left my stitch marker in, um, an Easter bunny, which is all in one. I haven't had to sew anything on except for the pom-pom. And I actually made the pom-pom for one of the um, Premi Baby hats. The miracle baby hats and I didn't like how it sat so I cut it off and then I didn't know what to do with it so it um, just worked out to be the perfect size so here's my little no so bunny the ears you do one ear then you do the other ear and then you join them together and then you just keep going it's all one piece which was really cute so he's got a little cute little pom-pom tail so I've been working on that um, I've been playing with some granny square style patterns to do and I've made a beanie which I really like. So I've made that. This is made out of Hobby. It was a specialized yarn that I got at Christmas time. Um, I'm sure I put the label here, but I'm full of Easter egg bits and pieces on my table. No, it's a, it, it is a, it's an, um, a four way, it's, t it's wool, cotton and acrylic mix, um, so it is a little itchy and I do have enough to make probably a cow, so I thought I'd make a cow. So when I do that and I'll show you, I'll let you know what the type of, the name of the yarn is, but this is a hobby yarn um, and I'm loving the colour. Dishwasher's finished. And the other thing I've been working on is, and I'm going to be doing this, oh, put my microphone, can you hear me? Um, the other thing that I have been working on 
is something for a tutorial, which will be in the next day or so. And it's these star-shaped coasters. Aren't they cool? And they're so easy to do. So um, again, this is hobby yarn and it's 100% um, cotton. Uh, it's just rainbow yarn. This is the one that I'm currently working on. And it's 100% cotton. It's the 8-8 cotton, so it's quite thick. It's a number three. I bought some of this to do make a shirt out of and I'm halfway through and it's going to be way too heavy so I'm going to have to and I'm going to do with all this brown cotton yarn um, but this is going to be our next tu tutorial so um, a star coaster how awesome would they be for Christmas done in red and green Christmas oh my god why am I thinking them because um, it's star shape so these are actually going to be a birthday present for my friend um, and it's going to be a set of six coasters in the different shades of purple. Um, and I'm working on a tutorial as I, as I go so that you'll have this in the next couple of days as well. Coming up is going to be how to make uh, an Anzac poppy because the 25th of April is Anzac Day, which is a really important day here to commemorate the Australian and New Zealand Army Corps. Um, and it's a, it's a huge day and I actually coordinate the event for school uh, and it's quite quite an important day for me so um, I make these poppies quite a lot um, yearly and I thought I might show you how to do it as well um, looking at my table which is a total mess um, but it's productive mess so that's really good all right so that's all I've done. Have I missed anything? I don't think so. That's all I've done so far this week. And that's enough, isn't it? <laughs> um, and I, you know, I've taken both lots of the dogs to the vet this morning. And I've got to do that one at a time because Mr. Maynard is so big. And it's not that he's unruly. He's just very strong. And if he pulls, I'm, I'm gone. So I can't take both dogs. So I've been to the vet twice been to town, I've done shopping, I've washed the car, um, I've been and fed the ducks and chickens and collected eggs and I'm a bit tired <laughs> to be honest. All right, most important thing about what you're working on Wednesdays is of course our Wombat Wisdom. So let's have a look at our what's Wombat Wisdom, I, I haven't looked at it again either. Um, oh that was the one we did last time which was it's okay if you're shy, let's have a look at the next one. <laughs> I so love what jump on to Wombat Rescue on Facebook they I follow so there was Lola and Louie who I haven't heard much about them recently but been watching them from when they were little tiny babies and rescued and then brought up and they're so happy my favorite at the moment is Edward Teddy who poor little darling he nearly died they had to put pins in his legs and, all that. and he's starting to move I, I love watching them do their zoomies and all that sort of stuff just makes me happy I love watching them run around so here is our wombat wisdom for today staying curious is the secret to a long life I couldn't agree more here's my <laughs> um, this is a gorgeous little book I love it so much um, it's wombat the little book of wombat, wombat wisdom um, Harper Collins publication uh, and we read one of these every Wednesday. That's it from me this week. Let me know in the comments below what you've been working on. Um, a few people are starting to do that, which is great because I love to see what other people are working on. Great for different ideas. Um, it's really fun when we're working on the same project together. Um, somebody else was making um, hand towels. So, um, and we're looking at my hand towel um, tutorials. Um, so I really do enjoy, so please do let me know in the comments below, jump onto the Facebook page, again, Puddinwood Avenue, and um, let me know there, Put, post some photos, email me photos so I can see what you're doing. Um, I'm showing you mine, show me yours. <laughs> um, and that's it from me for the week. So thank you very much. Like I said, I'm going to jump on and finish off this tutorial for the Star Coasters. So you'll have that shortly too, um, as well as the uh, poppies on how to, do, how to make some poppies. Um, I think that's it. It is. I'll see you next time. Thank you for joining me. Bye.